Okay, hi everybody. I'm back again. I think this is part four. I'm not sure if it's three or four. Oh gosh. Anyway, um, I did go back the last time we had finished this middle section. I did go ahead and glue it to the base. And I did go ahead and cut out of this same um, deluxe paper, Cricut deluxe paper, the... Um, trim pieces here and glued those on so those will be in the pattern if uh, if you want to use them or not it's up to you so this parts put together now you can see the inside how everything lines up and uh, the next thing I'm going to do start is work on the top so there's two pieces to the top there's a small upper section with the trim pieces and the base section for the top. So I'm going to do the base section first. And um, <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and apply this onto here before I um, construct it. And I'm going to use the black soot ink again and ink the edges so they're not showing white. And again, any of the materials I'm using, I'll have links to them in the post on my blog. I'm going to go ahead and do these pieces while I'm at it, too, as well. Just ink everything. Alright, so I'm going to attach this to the top using score tape. I used glue when I attached these uh, trim pieces. I used glue on those. But on this one, I'm just going to use score tape. And as you can see, I've already folded the base piece in the black craft board. that right on top there leaving a little bit of a gap just burnish it a little bit and to fold this you just fold everything up fold your little tab pieces inward and these little tabs will glue to the sides here so I'm going to go ahead and do that no Sammy Oh, these dogs are going to be the death of me, I'm telling you. Oh, and again, this is just Eileen's Fast Grab Tacky Glue. That's the only glue I use. So now once that's set, then I'm going to take and attach these pieces along the edges right here. And I'm going to attach those with score tape as well. And I'm just placing the score tape right down the center. Whoa, that one just keeps getting away from me there. Okay, and there's our base for our lid. And that should fit just whoops right on top from here you would create this part the same way attach your top piece glue your these sections to here we'll go ahead and construct this you want to take this and add glue on all four edges Make sure you get up under there where they overlap. And 
And then you have another black piece which is going to go right on top here. And you just want to kind of press it down and move it around so that it fits on there. And once you get it lined up well, turn it over and lay it flat and that will keep the glue in place. And then this piece, once you get done with it, will glue right on top here, creating the top part. So I'm gonna set that aside here and you have, of course these pieces will have to be attached to the outside edges. your score tape So there we go. So that time it caught. So there is our upper top. So for these two pieces, which are the handle, you're going to add glue around the ring only. And you're going to glue those together. And then these pieces, you're going to attach one on each side. And then you're going to bend this one up this way and bend this one this way so that this will sit like this. And then you're going to either add glue or score tape to the bottom here. And you're going to place this in the center of this top piece. So then this will fit over the lid here and this will be glued here and that makes the top of your lamp. I'll try to kind of, so it will look like this when you're finished. Kind of sort of, but straight, not crooked. So I'll uh, go ahead and redo this piece and get it sized right and then um, we'll be back with, I'll be back with another part of finishing the rest of the outside and what we're going to put in here. So that's it, and I will see you on the next video.